Hey everyone, I hope y'all are doing good. Uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm sorry I wasn't able to upload any videos from past few weeks. I was in India. I was visiting my family. I had few workshops over there. I didn't publish them, but uh, there were few workshops that I did. And uh, today's video will be a very special one because a lot of people asked me that what are the top questions that are asked in a BIM interview. So guys, I have learned it the hard way. I experienced it. I have failed a lot of interview. I did uh, pass a lot of interview. So I know what are the general questions, what are the important questions that, uh, that you should know as a BIM coordinator or a BIM graduate, like if you are fresh out of college. So I will be talking about these things. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you are here again or like if you have noticed my channel before, I would just request all of you to please go ahead and support my channel. I need your support to keep making these videos because life is very tough, guys. Uh, I just got off my work and I'm making this video. So yeah, I would just request all of you to support my channel. And guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, the interview starts something like this. Uh, they will introduce themselves. Uh, they will go over your resume. They will ask you basic questions about your education, what you have done in life. If you have put on some experience into BIM industry, they will ask that or architecture industry, whatever it is. They will ask about that and then they will start diving into your knowledge. First, they will ask you uh, what all softwares you have used. Uh, so. If you are into BIM and if you are coming into North America or if you are in India, uh, most of the companies that are BIM capable, they use Revit. So always include Revit in your answer. Uh, and of course, if you are going for BIM, you have to know Revit. So you answer like, uh, I have used this, 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 this software and then they will build up on it. They will ask uh, what are the things in Revit that you like and what are the things that you don't like. And then they will slightly start going into the deeper versions of it. Uh, they will ask you, have you ever worked with Revit central models? Uh, have you ever worked with Revit cloud models? Then the next question will come up like, how does a central model functions? How does a cloud model functions? What are the differences between these central model and a Revit cloud model? or Autodesk construction, a construction cloud model. Now it is called Autodesk construction cloud. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, know about like how central models are functioning, why they are used, when they are used, how cloud models function and why and when they are used. So they will know that you have a clear understanding of these kind of model workflows. Then they will ask you what are work sets? uh how and why work sets are used this is a very basic question if you are a advanced bim user you will know that these kind of questions do come up in uh do come up in an interview because they want to know your knowledge they want to know the uh, core of your knowledge so that is very important then they will go ahead and ask you about uh, bim model health uh, basically they will ask you what are the things that can affect your BIM model or your Revit model? What are the adverse effect? Uh, what are the things that can cause adverse effect on your entire BIM workflow? So uh, you have to be very uh, cautious about answering because here they will test that. Do you actually know the very base of BIM? how the model health functions, what are the things that are important about uh, BIM. And then they might even ask you a trick question. One of my interviewers asked me this. For me, it was a very uh, kind of stupid question, but it might be tricky for some of you. So they will ask you that, can we bring in AutoCAD file into our Revit model? And can we explode an AutoCAD file in a Revit model? do you think it's a good idea always answer no to this because guys a uh, autocad file exploding an autocad file in a revit model is the worst thing that you can do like people in your company will hate you even if you are an architect or an architecture technologist 
BIM modelers will ban you from the model. So just just uh, answer no for this and never explode a AutoCAD file in a BIM or a Revit model. And guys, next question should be uh, some engineering firms ask this and some architecture firms ask this too, which are quite advanced and they are they have all their departments like HVAC, mechanical, all of these departments in their in-house departments. So uh, they will ask, have you ever done clash detections? what kind of softwares you use to do clash detections for example like i have done clash detection and i have used navis work for that there are other softwares as well navis work is one of the most famous one and if you haven't used it or haven't done clash detection i don't think so it's a very big of an issue you can be very uh, clear about what you know and what you don't know uh, so be truthful also like don't fake because the person who is interviewing you is probably like a senior person and he knows BIM in and out. So don't mess around. If you don't know something, just say that I think it might be this, but I am not sure. I haven't done class detection. It's that simple, guys. Next question, if you are going for a BIM coordinator uh, interview, they will ask what are the requirements for setting up a BIM project? So for this, you will have to answer very technically, like you have to know what are the site coordinates, what are the project coordinates, what are the project requirements, how many level these projects will have, what kind of families this project will have, if the company has a specific template for a different kind of project. So for example, a uh, lot of companies build different kind of construction. So some companies, uh, like for example, one company has uh, uh, timber construction, steel construction, and uh, concrete construction. They will have separate templates for their projects. Like for example, concrete template will have all the details, families, and all of these things required for a project in one template. So uh, that will be a construction template. And similarly, they will have a timber template and a steel construction template. So you can say that, okay, I will select a specific template based on the project requirement. Then I will set up the levels. I will link up different models. I will create different files. So uh, another thing, if you are fresh into a BIM and if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, you should know that BIM uh, projects, for example, Revit projects are created into small, small fragments. Um, the outer shell is into different fragment, the interior is in different fragment, structure is into different and site is into different. Why this is done is to keep the model light and it functions the same way as a normal model but everything is segregated and separated so that there is a lesser chances to lose data, to lesser chances to make that uh, file extremely heavy. So the workflow becomes very smoother. So these are the things that you have to keep in mind while you are in an interview. Next question, they will ask you like best and worst part of Revit. What are the things that you like about Revit? Uh, what are the things that you do dislike about Revit? So guys, don't hate on Revit. Absolutely not. Because uh, they are going to see that how comfortable are you working on a Revit model or into Revit software? Do you actually like this industry or not? So you can say like the clear not working part in Revit that you hate, but don't uh, stress on like, you know, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Say, give a balanced answer. Basically, I mean to say that. Uh, next question they will ask you about families, Revit families and BIM in a BIM model or a BIM workflow or a Revit workflow, families are very important. From your walls, doors, windows, floors, everything is a family. Yes, you heard me right. Everything in Revit is a family. That is the core, that is the soul of Revit that builds, that it's basically the building block of a BIM model. So they will ask you, do you know how to build Revit families? Do you know how to build parametric Revit families? So uh, this question becomes very important. If you don't know, answer it clearly. Or if you know, you can say that, yes, I know how to build parametric family. 
then the follow up questions will be like do you know what are shared families then they will ask you what are shared parameters so i will make a separate video about what are shared families and shared parameters and uh, uh, you can go in that video and learn about this i will in fact make a separate video answering all of these questions whatever i have mentioned over here and guys uh, this is the overview uh, they will uh, they will not go into very depth of like what are bim execution plan what is lod levels just know that what is lod lod is level of details what are lod 100 200 300 450 500 so just know the overview of what is lod i have made a specific video about that as well so just go ahead check it out and uh, if you have any doubts or queries or anything please go ahead mention it in the comment section and guys please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to my channel i need your help to grow this channel and to keep making these videos for you guys so yeah please go ahead hit a like subscribe and take care of yourself i'll see you soon bye bye